Once you've created your service areas in ToastWeb, it's time to create the table layout for each service area that will display on the table management screen on the POS. The goal is to create a visual representation of the service area's floor plan so your front of house staff can be assigned to tables and manage orders and payments at their assigned tables. Start this setup process by navigating in Toast Web to Front of House, Tables and Sections, Tables. In this example, we'll be starting from scratch to create this table layout for this restaurant's patio. Here's a bird's eye view of the restaurant's patio. This is on the sidewalk of a busy street in a city, so we'll want to create barriers around each table and clearly label where the host stand is in relation to the tables. ToastWeb gives you a few table shapes to choose from, as well as barriers and a label option. When you add any of these elements to your layout, you can make adjustments to it such as changing the size, the width, the height, and the revenue center. If you'd like to delete anything you've added, simply drag the table outside of the layout and you'll be asked if you'd like to delete the item. Now let's begin creating this patio table layout. We'll need to create four tables along the sidewalk and create some barriers between them. Some of these barriers will be rotated so we'll cover how to create both horizontal and vertical facing barriers. Let's first add four tables. For this, I'll drag and drop four square-shaped tables evenly in a row like this. I then want to make them more rectangular to match the shape of the tables in my reference photo. To do this, I'll select the table and adjust the height. While I'm at it, I'm going to change the table number so it's table number 1. If we'd like to use letters for this instead of numbers, we could do that too. I'll then do the same thing to the other tables, so tables 1 through 4 will be the same shape and in the correct order. Now, for reference, I'm going to use the label option to notate where the sidewalk is. I'll change the text here to say sidewalk, and then adjust the width and height until it matches the size of the sidewalk in relation to the tables. Now I'm going to create some barriers. I'll start with some vertical barriers between each table. I'll use this barrier option and drag it in place. Notice that there isn't an option to rotate this barrier. Instead, I'm going to increase the height and decrease the width so those two values are switched. I'll need to do this a few times. Finally, I'll create the last barrier that blocks the tables from the street. I'm then going to use this outlined barrier to represent the front of the restaurant. And then lastly, I'll create one more label to show where the host stand is. Now I'll save and publish these changes to see how they'll appear on the POS's table management screen. Servers can now be assigned to these tables and begin taking orders.